Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Portal back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we have a few things to go over. We have the Reduxes in packs, right? We have the new House Rules event, and we do have some stuff I want to go over. We also have Vic coming this weekend. I expect Vic to be revealed at some point today. Typically, we reveal it around 7 to 8 p.m., 6.30-ish, you know, somewhere around then. But because it is Vic, I could see them doing some morning drop or some early mid-afternoon drop. Who knows? But do expect to see the full Vic reveal today. So get hyped for that if you guys are excited for Vic. I'm definitely going to be picking him up. Vic's always fun. And with this Madden, I know Vic's going to be pretty crazy, honestly. It's just, I couldn't see a scenario in which he's not. Now, guys, if you guys are wondering how to get Redux cards, they get, they're out of packs. You, you pull them out of packs. There's no free ones. It's, not, it's just, it's regular players. They're LTDs that are now, that you pretty much you take the limit time tag off of them. And they become players you can get in packs. What will be the best pack to pull right now? Honestly, a weekly Elite Fantasy pack probably could hit. Uh, not gonna lie, it, it probably has a decent chance of hitting, given 9% of 88+, plus. you have some good slots with 82 pluses, uh, but honestly, these all-pro fantasy packs, I imagine, wouldn't be too bad, check them out, 9.6%, 88+, plus. 85+, plus is a 41%, these cards aren't bad either, the guaranteed, you know, guaranteed elites, 18 total elites, you got 54 gold or better, I'd imagine all pros could hit right now, guys, and then a few other things, but before we get into the rest of the video, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, Turn the notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up. As always, if you need coins, head on down below to my sponsor. And use my code at checkout for some of the cheapest coins you can find on the internet. I promise you guys, don't miss out. And then also, guys, if you do, if you do have some of these left, these aren't bad values. Try to go ahead and get it here. Like, four Game Changer bundle for literally like 10 bucks, 8 bucks. That's not bad at all. You can go ahead and do like, because they're better value packs. You can go ahead and get the two times Elite Fantasy pack. The, you know, you have the regular one. But there's a buy one, get one, so you can go ahead and do that. But yeah, I mean, if you're trying to get the Redux, it's probably the best way you're trying to pull them. But if you're not trying to pull them, you just want to go ahead and buy them. You're going to want to take this over to the store and go check for some of them, though. It might take some time because, of course, these aren't exactly going to be the easiest things to pull. I mean, they're still going to have some level of rarity to them. And, of course, it's still early in the morning. But we should be seeing some at this point. So let's go filter out. Let's see if any of them are alive. And they're not, they're not up yet. But let's go check out the house rush for the time being. All right, guys, so today's house rule event, Super Plays, brought to you by EA. Suit up and get ready to sling it. Start at the 50-yard line with the first down, 25 yards out. A touchdown is worth 10 points, and an interception is 5. Score 15 points to win. Start racking up wins to earn your choice of an NCAT 90 overall or an 86 overall Gridiron Guardian. First and 25, touchdowns are worth 10 points. Interceptions are worth 3 points. Score 15 points to win. So, obviously, guys, there is the discrepancy of writing on the house rules. Hopefully, that is adjusted by the time it actually goes live and everything is there for you guys to go ahead and, like, you know, hopefully, hopefully it's adjusted, right? Because, honestly, kind of frustrating to even mess up text like that. But here's my advice. If we're going strictly off the bottom one where interceptions are worth three points, that would mean that if you score, you're, if you score, you're up 10, and you come back out on defense, the max points you can get on defense is really three, right? Not not including pick sixes. So that would mean that you would have four, 13 points. Then you'd have to come back out in offense. So if, if interceptions are worth three points, guys, I'm going to give you some advice. But before I give you the advice, just to clear, clear it up real quick, 15 points to win. There's no point reductions. There's only point earning. These are quick games. You start at the 50-yard line. You start at the 50-yard line. line. There's one total first down. It's at the 25-yard line. So you can get to the 25, and then you have to score, right? You can go for field goals, I'm pretty sure. Now, here's the thing. Will there be some glitches? Will there be some cheats? Will there be some stupid methods of how to do this very easily in terms of like punting the ball and somehow it ends the solo, kicking it backwards? More than likely, yes. I can't even I can't even deny that. But here's my advice if everything goes as normal. And with this advice comes, guys, it's very simple. Touchdowns, interceptions. It's one of the more simple house rules to do. 15 points wins it all. So if you guys want to win this in one fluid motion, the best thing you're going to want to do probably is go for two. If it allows you to go for two, you go for two. So you get the touchdown, guys. You go for two. Because if you don't, if you don't, if you go for two, right, touchdowns are worth 10 points. If you go for two, that is going to be 12 points. And then you come out on defense and they throw a pick. That is 15 points. It is game over. Now, if you start off, guys, let's say vice versa, and you start off on defense, and you get them with a pick, and your net's three. 
right? Same thing. You come out in offense, you it's three points. You come out, you score a touchdown, you go for two, and you get 12. Now, what if you say, why, why would I go for two, right? Why not go for one? Well, if you go for one, it's 11, which means that you need four points to win still. So a field goal won't win it. And a field goal won't win it, and a pick won't win it. So pretty much, if you know, if you always go for one, you pretty much have to do two offensive possessions at bare minimum. If you go for two, and let's just say you go for two and you don't get it, right? Now you have 10 points. Then you pick them off. You have 13 points. Either way, 13 or 14 doesn't win it. So either way, it's not like it, like there's really no, it's not detrimental to you because it's not like you're reversing point by point. You need to get to 15 as quickly as possible. Um, if you go, if you don't, if you go for it, you miss it and you get 10 points, right? No 11, no 12. You get out there and you score a touchdown, you still win. You win in two possessions. You score a field goal. You weren't going to win anyways in two possessions unless you went for two. And then also, if you go for two, that leaves you room for a few things. You pick them off and it's game over. Or you miss it, you pick them off. And now you can just come out and take a field goal because you're so close in points that you can take a field goal as well to end it. You know, it keeps like either way, going for two is the way, best way to maximize your efficiency. Because even if you don't get it, like even if you don't go ahead and actually convert it, you're still equally as likely to win the game at the same point you were prior to going for it. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't it doesn't change that timeline. Like like in regular games, right? You're like, should I go for two? And then you go for two. Now it's six. Now you only have six because you messed up. And now it's six seven. And then now you're down by one point all game. Then you get a field goal and they get another touchdown. And before you know it, you're like really falling behind because you went for two. Or at the end of the game, a field goal can't win it because of that. But that won't be the case here because you're not you're not competing with them. You're not directly competing point versus point. Like, oh, you have 12 and they, you have 11. They have 12. You just lost now. You're competing for the first to 15. So you need to get there as quickly as possible. Going for two is going to be the ideal way to go ahead and do that. And honestly, guys, this should be a very quick. If I had to think, right, I'd say these games should take no longer than five minutes. Because you figure, right, offense is pretty quick. Defense is pretty quick. It's It literally is going to take about two to three possessions. Now, there is a chance, guys. There, there is a, There's going to be some games where you fumble, they come on out, they can't get a drive going. It's next gen, though, so it should be pretty easy. But they fumble. You guys keep fumbling back and forth, and that probably will never end it, just getting that out there. Also, there's a chance you guys both get touchdowns, but then you fumble. Then you go for it on fourth down, you don't convert. Then they go for a field goal, and now it's 14 points, and they didn't end it. Honestly, you guys can also play the quit method. Like, if they come out on you and they, they go up 12 nothing, you can just probably quit if you'd like. But again, these are games you can swing within one to two possessions. So I wouldn't necessarily I wouldn't necessarily care to quit as much in this one. Like, there's some other ones where it's like, okay, you're down 14 nothing. This kid's trying. You're not going to go the distance. He's not going to quit. So you leave. I feel like this one's not one of those. I feel like this is like the one where there's no points going away. It just first 15. You each pretty much get two possessions if you can score pretty quickly. So I think you don't have to quit these because I think even if the guy's sweating, he's ending the game in two possessions, right? If the guy's bad and he's not, you have a chance. That's kind of how my take is on it. But that's about it for that. Let's go check out some of the Redux cards. All right, guys, so oddly enough, they're taking quite a while to actually get in the block, but this is a good good look at the price. 250 for Kevin Green, and that's base, right? So he's going to go down a lot more because that's just one card up on the block. So that means that you could probably acquire Kevin Green for 180K, 215. Uh, Redux cards are not going to be crazy price, which is good because, you know, sometimes people come out here and just think like, oh, I'm going to start crazy pricing these. That's a fair value. Darren Waller, some of those guys, you should be able to get them. For a pretty good value. Now, I'm not entirely sure why it's taking so long to get Redux cards on the block. Unless people are pulling them and playing to keep them, which I highly doubt they want every LTD type card that's come out. But overall, guys, again, they'll be coming up shortly throughout the day. The Redux cards are here. The card looks really cool. It's no different than the LTD card. For all you guys who may want to see that, I'll filter out of the Redux spot. And I will go show you Kevin Green for the Steelers real quick. Now, if you pull a Redux... You probably want to sell it, like, probably off the bat. I mean, I they're not like, it's not like when Legend come out and, like, everything's dropping super low or something. Like, these are cards that actually will probably sell for the most now because they're not the easiest to pull. And then as the day goes on and people actually pull more of them, they'll probably finally start to come down. So let's compare Kevin Green's here. 
This is Kevin Green, 91 overall. This is the LTD. They're both 91 overall speed rushers. If you compare here, Kevin Green has the 87 speed, 90 XL. You can see all the stats here. And if we go back over to the LTD, it would be cool if they changed something, but I know they don't. Um, then we go over to the LTD. And we click on it. You're going to see the same thing. 87 speed, 90 XL, 88 block shed, 88 play rec, 90 finesse move, same cards. So for all you guys wondering, LTD versus Redux, same card. That's about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up, and if you guys need coins for any of these Redux cards, head down below to my sponsor and use my code at checkout. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.